um, the incident we were talking about is my ex showed up in the driveway of Mike's house. Um, he'd spotlighted the house. I went outside to confront him. Um, Spider went with me um, to hold the dog back. Now, when your ex came up to the house, was he on duty as a highway patrolman? Or was yes, he, he was in his patrol car. And this is Washington Highway Patrol, right? Washington State Patrol, yes. Okay. Keep going. Um, he'd had his, his red and blue lights on, and he'd also spotlighted the house. Um, I came outside, I went and contacted him through the basement of Mike's house, and one of the first things out of my ex-husband's mouth was, uh, so you're in the bedroom fucking that guy. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, I saw you come out of his bedroom. I'm like, really? That's not true because there's other people here. And it's the living room. And I pointed out that the you know, big bay windows there, that's the living room, not the bedroom. How would you know anyway? And Why are you here? You need to be home. You don't need to be here. Were you married to my time? We were separated going through divorce. Okay. Wasn't so you were yet. separated. Okay, mm -hmm. fine. Yes, and he was dating other people at the time. Right. As Go well. ahead. Um, I'm probably out there, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes maybe, and I told him that he needed to leave. He wasn't welcome on the property. He had no business being there. Um, and he tried to give me the story about, a, oh, there's still a vehicle. I was searching the area, but he had gone up the road more than once before he pulled into the driveway. So when he finally left, he went all the way down the end of the road and sat there for a minute or so. And... I think he left again. Now, on other occasions, did, did he uh, make any comments about Mike? Other than that he didn't like him and he was a, a druggie and all this other stuff. Okay. But, you know, he didn't did like him. And I mean, he didn't, that, didn't that, want his kids around him and all that stuff. Did he say anything to you that led you to believe that he was going to harass him? It didn't lead me to believe that he would harass him, but I wouldn't or am not even surprised that he does because anybody he doesn't like or doesn't think he should, you know, he, he has a tendency to do it. I would think he would take opportunities to do so just because he can. Okay, can you give me any supporting facts about that? As far as in relation to Mike or... Uh, as far as how he would, just he would his, single people out, how would he, how would he do it? It's just his personality. It's just what he does. He's, I don't really have any, you know, we didn't hang out with a lot of people because he doesn't like people mm -hmm. in general. Um, as far as Mike goes, I would not, you know, he pulled him over more than once in the past um, just because of the comments that he'd made to Mike about, you know, things. These comments you personally heard? Mm -mm, no. Okay. You know, right, Mike um, would call me and say, hey, I just, you know, your ex-husband stopped me or whatever. And it's like, I'm sorry, because he already, he didn't like the fact that I was friends with Mike. And now, has he ever said, yeah, I don't like this guy, and then after a period of time he notices he's been stopping him a lot or... He's always said he didn't like him as far as stopping him. I don't know if he stopped How about other people. Other people? No, because at the time we were separated. And he didn't really talk about who he stopped or, hey, I stopped Mr. Smith again in the deadbeat. He never did any of that. But and when separated and stuff, he started getting worse after our separation and our divorce was final as far as how he treated people and what he thought I should and shouldn't be doing, who I could and couldn't talk to, that kind of stuff. Okay. Um have you observed any anger issues while he is in uniform? I don't contact him when he's in uniform. Um, I don't have a lot because I work in Chehalis and he works east end of Lewis County. Um, I know there have been complaints from people that I've heard through the grapevine about him and his issue in anger management. And he can be very hard, very cold. I haven't actually witnessed anything, but he can be a real pill, I guess, to put it nicely. Okay. Um, giving people a hard time, harassing them, it's just, you know, the uniform probably only makes it exacerbates the problem. Now, from a time, did you say you know him when he was a non-law enforcement military figure? He was an MP in the military. Did you know him before that? No. Okay. What, what was his demeanor, what was his demeanor when he was an MP in the military? Um, pretty much similar to what he is now. Again, I didn't have a lot, you know. On a personal level, um, he's controlling. Um, he was he worked CID, actually not CID, MP, MPI. 
<clears throat> military police investigations and stuff like that for a while, but I know he's never gotten written up. His sergeants and everything always enjoyed working with him. But he was, again, he's a different person in a public setting than he is in a personal setting. Mm -hmm. He's uh, more approachable in a personal setting, just one-on-one, -on -one, but when he's in a group of people, he tends to remain aloof, arrogant, standoffish uh, kind of thing. He doesn't relax unless he's got alcohol or whatever with him. Okay. Um, now, when he became a state trooper, has his attitude and demeanor progressed or diminished? Um, it, after the divorce, I would say, yeah, he's made a couple comments about, you know, because I wanted the divorce that he didn't need to live anymore. He was going to kill himself. And I had called the, his sergeant with concerns. Um, there were some people that I worked with at the comm center right after we had gotten divorced that had overheard a conversation about him killing himself that they turned it into a previous manager who then said he couldn't come to the comm center anymore because of safety reasons they were concerned. Um, he, yeah, he's... I don't have a dealing with him on a regular basis other than a personal level. I haven't talked to him pretty much in two years. And prior to that, it was at least two or three times a week I'd get phone calls with him yelling and screaming at me, calling me names, telling me to put a gun in my mouth and pull the trigger so he could piss on my grave. Okay, that's interesting <coughs> you brought that up. Because um, that really is getting into the realm of uh, domestic violence. Uh, was he violent or aggressive towards you? Physically, no. He was more mentally aggressive when we were married. Okay. Usually, and it, a lot of it was brought on by the alcohol. Okay. So, so you, you believe, in your opinion, that he has a, a, a problem with alcohol. Right, and I told him that on more than and one occasion. according to your opinion, um, do you feel that he may have an onset of a mental illness, such as bipolar? I think he's, if he's not bipolar, he might be manic depressive. Um, mm -hmm. I think he doesn't deal with his anger okay. issues well. He takes it out on other people, be it and family. This is just basically your opinion. My opinion. You know, my, a, a right. Clinical There's opinion. no clinical diagnosis. It's just knowing him for now, what, 16, 17 years. Um, progressively, he's not stable sometimes. It just, he you, overreacts. Do you think he's a law enforcement officer for the right reasons? No. Why not? I think he's doing it for the money. I don't think he does it for necessarily the. He's good at it, but um, I don't think he does it for. You don't think society, he's doing it because he's, he wants to be involved in public servanthood? No. Do you think he's he's also maybe doing it because he enjoys uh, using force to arrest people? Do you think he enjoys? I don't know if it's using force to arrest people. I, I I honestly think it's it's a job that he does. I don't think it's a job he enjoys. The job he always wanted to do was be a high school history teacher, mm -hmm. and he's a you know cop basically. It wasn't a job that I don't think he ultimately wanted to keep forever. Okay. But he hasn't gone to college. So this is pretty much anything. a job, job. It's a job. Okay. All right. Thank you very much.